Right, good day everybody and welcome to the channel. I hope you're having a great day. Right, so today is my first time testing this and that is the um, GoPro Wi-Fi Smart Remote. So I decided to get it uh, just in case I had a, another GoPro on the bike or in case my passenger had a GoPro on so I can kind of stop and start recordings together rather than having to faff around pressing the button on my GoPro. And it's quite a good indication as well to see whether Obviously the uh, GoPro is recording or not. So yeah, I'm, uh, so far I'm, uh, I'm chuffed with it. I've only tested it at home. I tested it last night uh, with both the GoPros. Uh, the one little issue, uh, I think it was an issue anyway. When you press record, it's supposed to record both of them at exactly the same time. But for some reason it was recording one um, slightly ahead of the other, about a second ahead of the other. And it tended to be whichever GoPro was paired to it first. But when I pressed stop recording, the actual the recording stopped on, on both GoPros on each test that I did. Both of them stopped at exactly the same time. So as far as lining things up in Final Cut Pro, when I dragged it in there to test, um, all I had to do was make sure that the ending of the video was exactly together and everything lined up perfect which to be honest i, I was happy with um i mean it didn't work exactly how i thought it was going to but but nonetheless it it worked when you've got one gopro attached to it you can change all the settings on it um the remote kind of mirrors the gopro and it mirrors all the settings that are on the gopro so i mean it's easy enough to change all the settings if i've got one gopro on or if i want to delete stuff or or if you use the GoPro app, uh, the GoPro app, the um, GoPro editing software, um, I don't use it, but if you did use it, um, you can actually do all your highlights from here as well. Um, kind of how you can on the drift, just marking the moments that, that you want to, and then obviously you can find them later on. Um, but no one I know uses the GoPro app, and I'm sure that there's other people, uh, other people, I'm sure that there's other programs out there where you can find these highlights uh, to use in other recorders other than the uh, GoPro Studio. Uh, apart from that, distance wise, I've not actually tested it, and to be honest, I don't really care as long as it works where I am. I'm, I'm fine. It's uh, I've got I've got no intention on ever using it beyond a meter or so away, if that. But um, I believe that it works up to 100 meters. I mean, I think that's what it said on the packet. Um, it's fully waterproof. Uh, I'm not sure if it's waterproof when it's not got the little key bit in there, but. Uh, so also, um, I picked up the SP Gadgets uh, bar mount as well. Um, so obviously that's why you can see it just there. Um, I picked that one over some of the cheaper ones just because SP Gadgets, uh, they're known to produce um, pretty decent quality stuff. Um, and I mean, I've got it on there now and it is absolutely solid. It is not even budging the tiniest little bit. Uh, it's absolutely solid on there. And then I've got the other pin that connects into the back of it. I've got that on my key ring for when I want to take it off the handlebars, which only takes a second or so. Right, and again, the uh, main reason I bought it was uh, from watching sixth gear motorcycles. Um, how I mentioned in one of my previous videos that uh, the reason why I needed a mic connected into the GoPro, um, he has his mounted here on his tank bag. Um, so obviously when he's going on long journeys and that, he can stop and start the recording and change settings as necessary and all, all that all that guff. So um, yeah, that's the uh, that's the reason that I got it. I've currently got the Sony X1000V on the outside of my helmet as well, on the right hand side. Because uh, I'm going to keep this GoPro purely for kind of for, for motor vlogging. Um, and the Sony, I'm going to start using that more kind of as a dash cam sort of thing. Just something that's going to be running pretty much all the time. So that way I've got a camera on my helmet recording all the time. There's always something going to be recording. And then when it comes to getting home and chucking everything in Final Cut Pro and um, editing, the footage that I actually drag into it is going to be motor vlogging footage. It's not footage that I'm going to have to faff around and kind of search through and try and find uh, the motor vlogging footage through the rest of the day's footage. So again, that's the main reason for using the two cameras now. And I've taken the Sony out of the case so it doesn't look as stupid on the side of my helmet. But uh, where I've got the GoPro positioned on my chin bar, it is slightly, only only very slightly, raised um, above the uh, lower part of the eye level just under here from where I can see through the visor. 
Um, I've got it raised there because on the back of the GoPro um, I have the battery pack, uh, the battery backpack, uh, which gives me a stupid amount more recording time. And on the top of that backpack, on the left hand side, there is a tiny little indicator light which flashes red uh, when you're recording. Um, that's why I've got it raised where I've got it, so I can kind of see that through my visor. But also as well, which is quite nice, uh, and it's something I missed when I moved over to GoPro, because obviously when you, get, when you buy a Drift, it comes with a remote. Uh, the remote for the Drift is probably the most, it's probably the best remote out there as far as uh, status goes as far as knowing exactly what you're doing uh, when you're pressing record and that because of the indication lights and it's very thin as well which is another brilliant thing this thing is a little bit chunky it's about half the size of a GoPro but it's got the indication light on there um, I can turn the GoPro on and off I can turn just the remote off if I want it just the remote off um, if I choose to, while well, I've got it on my chin bar like this, if uh, something's happening or if I'm passing somewhere nice and I decide I want a full resolution, uh, resolution? <laughs> full resolution photo, um, I can literally just stop the recording, uh, press the button once and it flicks over to photo mode. Take a photo, uh, a couple of button presses again and it goes back to video. Um, if I'm videoing somewhere or some, something's happening in front of me and I decide that Superview, which is what I use now, was, because Superview is so wide, it makes everything a, a somewhat distance look like it's even further away. So I can change the modes very quickly to different shooting modes to go from Superview to Standard or to 2.7K and have it in the uh, medium view or even have it on 1080p and go to the narrow view. So yeah, it's not exactly a review at the moment, it's just kind of my initial findings. Uh, I mean, I've not had it long enough to review, I'm not entirely sure what the battery life's like. And uh, the charger for it is a proprietary charger as well, so it's not like I can just chuck any USB charger into it. Um, but again, I'm assuming it's going to last all day, um, as far as my batteries go for my GoPro as well. Um, but we'll see. I mean, it's not going to be too hard to carry a charging lead in my bike with me. Um, but as far as build quality goes on it as well, it feels absolutely solid. It feels better built than what a GoPro does, it feels rugged. Um, I don't think it's going to break anytime soon as far as physical damage goes. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to actually using it rather than keep pressing the button on the GoPro that's on my chin bar, putting a bit more stress on the mount because I broke one of my previous mounts so having to keep pressing it all the time. But again, I've got the option to change the settings if I need to now. I'd have preferred to have the mount on the left hand side, which I might move it to later. Uh, the reason I put it there was just because there was a bit more space. Right, so I'm currently off to Hilton. Ian Waite from Strictly Come Dancing is up this way. I think he's teaching a seminar or something. So I'm going to be uh, photographing him. Uh, also yesterday, uh, which was absolutely awesome, I met and photographed uh, Timmy Mallet. Um, I'll put a little link on the screen now to the video. Uh, well, I didn't interview him, it was Martin Naylor, one of the uh, Derby Telegraph reporters. Uh, he interviewed him, I was just there with a the GoPro doing a bit of video. Um, and then I had to take some photos afterwards. But yeah, no, it was absolutely amazing. Uh, so all of us were standing there outside of the gallery that he was. And we were like, oh, pl please let him be wearing funky glasses or brightly coloured clothes. And we got there and he was in a purple suit and he had his colourful glass on and bright blue shoes. So yeah, it was, it was brilliant. So, you know, he is such a lovely down-to-earth bloke. In fact, it was kind of hard at times to get the photos I needed because he constantly all the time was trying to make time for absolutely everybody there. People that were buying his paintings, uh, people that were just asking questions or fans that just wanted to meet him. He was just such a lovely bloke. Um, and I was talking to a woman for ages as well. I didn't realise it. it turned out to be his wife. So yeah, they're absolutely fantastic. He was just a really nice bloke and a great day. There's Ian Waite, I don't know too much about him because I don't watch anything like Strictly. But we'll see what he's like. Um, I've got to do a bit of video here as well, so that might be going on YouTube. Um, also, I've got to take stupid amounts of photographs, so I've got to be taking lots. Whoa, this way. Um, I will be doing a follow-up review on this um, Wi-Fi remote at some point when I know more about it or when I've got more experience with it. So, right, anyway, that's it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to see any more of the videos, click on channel and click videos and they're all there.
right, take care all, have a good day and ride safe.